and welcome to your gold market update for today wednesday the 5th of october we we'll hope you're well today mike smith senior analyst at gold markets here to take you around what's happening in markets now of course overnight we had another big move on us equities continue to start the month strongly second day of gains and the s p up about five percent in those two days bond yields are drifting low which is helping uh, equities but is seeing the usd suffer a little bit uh, us futures are slightly lower in asian trading but asian indices are following that us lead from last night and are all to the upside the asx is up around 1.5 percent with tech outperforming in the local index too european equities are also pointing to a higher open this afternoon but obviously we have some time to go before we see open there so things may change the us dollar index dropped again and is nearing support around 110 on the back of that us bond yield drift it is slightly lower again today and consequently of course gold with that inverse relationship very much in play at the moment is now very much over 1700 around about the 1725 level which is an interesting level technically it's up over six percent in a week oil also is a beneficiary of that usd weakness and alongside that we've got those production cuts potentially on the table at the opec meeting today we'll wait and see what announcement happens then but the markets have already started to price that in a little bit i think copper's moved higher again through 340 and now up to 350 key resistance and we see the vix edge in below 30 on the back of that equity strength although still high around the 29 level at this stage with key data to come out over the next few days bitcoin also had a good day at the office and it has broken the top of the range to trade above 20,000 for the first time in almost a month i'd be interested to see if there's follow through on that today one worth keeping an eye on perhaps and on the data front we've seen the reserve bank of new zealand raise rates as expected by a half of one percent it's jobs week in the US as we've been reporting all week and we start with the ADP report tonight with some gains expected. Global services PMI data is also due and the markets will be interested in that. Let's have a look at a couple of charts that caught our eye this morning. Uh, we're going to start with the Euro USD and this is now back at parity. You can see here on the daily chart we touched parity last night. We're just around about neutral today. Did open slightly lower uh, but what you do see we are pretty neutral at this stage. Just watch this parity level. We could have a move up in the first instance of around about 50 to 60 pips perhaps. That support down at 95 and 68 is now a little bit of a distant memory and quite a significant move up in the euro on the asx one of the key performers is this fintech space today you can see here we have zip and we've completed this reversal we are looking perhaps around about this 80 cent level as an interesting point at which to consider an opportunity to the upside you can see that strong candle yesterday followed by another one today although we have given up some of the early morning gains but a possible move up around about 20 percent back into the 90s is on the cards if we break 80. so we want to certainly keep an eye on into the close to see how far this can go trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now